Hello everyone, this is Ashish. Welcome back to Talk and Fire podcast. We are having with us Miss Komal Tai. Extremely excited for this podcast. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we did delay a couple yes. of weeks. But We're at the same line, just Yeah, yeah, sure. it does not matter. But our audience now knows that every now and then we are going to disappear, but when we are come <laughs> ba- when we are going to come back, we are going to come back with a bang. The last podcast, the angels and evils evil. evil and angels yeah. <laughs> yeah that was my one of my favorite podcasts definitely because i was just going through the clips that are going to come out some serious quality content over there but anyways reels will always wins yeah <laughs> anyways welcome to the most <laughs> most enthralling and mm. the most fascinating podcast mm. <laughs> this is ashish and i'm komal taya <laughs> i already did that komal today we are going to talk about i was just uh, <laughs> making it more sophisticated like the way we just mm. give our two minutes talk and then we just introduce us again just in case we have to cut the initial part down yeah that was smart of you <laughs> Now there are various things going on and there are a lot of topics that we can actually talk about now every day we have something that we find out that we say that we should discuss this in podcast <laughs> and things get piled up but uh, I want to discuss about this new clubhouse thing that is going on Oh my god that is insane mm. Yep for a lot of people it is a very productive platform unfortunately for us we were suggested with a lot of garbage over there yeah. <laughs> which makes me kind of feel that that is what the majority of the platform is all about yeah i hardly have 9 to 10 followers on clubhouse <laughs> I, i don't know like mm. how to use it and i was completely a new new over that platform mm. so what i did that let's let's go go through some chats and i was getting bombarded with these kind of things like uh, daddy chat <laughs> and like that sugar daddy yeah <laughs> sugar daddy and uh, raat ki shaariyan if you are alone yeah. kind of that stuff i was like oh my god hmm. why they are bombarding with me with such stuff which i'm not comfortable and with the, the thing about me was that i already had a lot of people who had my number saved so i joined it with the number that was already distributed to thousands of people that's cool so based on their contents and their connections and all i got suggested pretty decent pages but one of our friend as well who just joined it recently he also was shown the same like yeah. ghost stories and black yeah, magic black and magic. all that <laughs> right so it is very difficult to actually censor or monitor something which is live going on right but even after following mm. some good and decent pages which mm. you have interest in uh-huh. i was still getting hit <laughs> by those we i can say spam pages <laughs> and uh, we decided to walk into one <laughs> yeah and uh, komal some some of the followers of komal might have seen that what is komal doing in this page well and komal and i uh, were just I was, laughing our asses yeah, off <laughs> that was so abysmal experience hmm. yeah all right yeah <laughs> so this page is basically on sex that's what it is all about yeah and, and I entered that just to know <laughs> what are they talking that and what they're talking about is just calling and this page seriously has page i don't know if you can call it page i think room that's what they call it and uh, this one has like 800,000 people over there listening just and there are three girls who are so called hosts over there yeah there are at least seven or eight boys who are i think are bodyguards over there now this is an online world you don't need a physical bodyguard but you do need a verbal bodyguard yeah. which actually came in play later i'm going to do a solo review of that i think because we recorded the whole thing yeah, <laughs> i have 18 minutes recording and it's full of shit yeah it's full of crap it's full of everything you can ever imagine it's full of roastable content yeah we, i was thinking to make a roast over clubhouse nah, maybe but we Komal can go can't through the, it. Nah. yeah maybe we can go through the similar pages mm. where people are discussing <laughs> such <laughs> crazy so stuff fun. yeah what yeah yeah but you have an image to protect but i don't thankfully so <laughs> i we can, should not say it out <laughs> and uh, i have a channel which is not monetized as well so yeah. i have a friend who does not mind as well <laughs> to yeah. to hop in that is our mutual friend right yeah, yeah so i guess that i'm going to do a little bit something with that but anyways the point being all of them were super young i'd say somewhere around yeah. 14 15 years old on an average age yep, yep. 
right and but some boys they were quite elder i feel yeah i think some of them were like 70 they just <laughs> came <laughs> and you can't believe 805 people were mm. there mm. and only 6 uh, to 7 people were were talking to each other mm. a- apart from that they were spectators right yeah, yeah, <laughs> like yeah. me <laughs> yeah and komal just walked in over there stayed as a spectator gained five followers on instagram <laughs> yeah and i got the invite to you know <laughs> yeah she got an invite like komal would you like to share some experience and komal was no <laughs> if komal would actually have accepted it i would have started speaking and then they would have sur- gotten the surprise that hey the picture does not really match the voice <laughs> <laughs> yeah because Shark and Fire podcast is not really that famous but anyways clubhouse but it's is... getting famous oh, we yeah. got mentioned from crooks india if yeah. i'm pronouncing it correctly crooks i think i guess crooks or crooks whatever it is it, yeah. it just matches crudes people are finding <laughs> out about it what's better than talk and fire podcast guys really tell me what is the podcast better than this podcast it's only like a lot of people don't know about this is that let's be honest over here let's be super honest let us yeah. know down in the comment section <laughs> <laughs> Let me be super self posting of this podcast. I've always been super proud of Talking Fire podcast. But That's anyways, too much praise. <laughs> <laughs> I, I get awkward. Mm, yeah, uh, Komal is the one who is the owner of Talking Fire podcast anyways. <laughs> Komal is the founder. I'm the co-founder. I feel just for the names thing because mm. every, in every other video you are there. In fact, in every video you are there and in starting only I made two videos in which I made the solo yeah. one. Guys, help me out with this one. Komal should be making some solo videos. Tell me. You wonder or not? Let us. Me. I know that you should be making. It's just that you cannot find out time. It's only. No, everyone in the comment section keep just <laughs> bashing me. Keep just sending me those um, insensitive comments. By so every. I'll, I'll not be making. By that. everyone, you mean like one or two. And you no. you have to ignore those people. I've been It's getting better at that. To maintain positivity, I have to delete those comments. Mm. But yes, mm. every now and then I get hit by those comments, and you, sometimes you are you are I in front of public that too. will happen. What you you are in front of public that will happen without a doubt. But the I, I don't know. Farther I'm you still, go, it will only uh, increase. So you better be ready with that. It's you are lucky that you have me by your side because I can tell you exactly what is going to happen next. but still i have you know i was no, very bad no i completely bad. i completely understand so there's this comedian slash actress right now eliza slashinger and she has a new movie coming up on her own life story and I, it is actually out on netflix i did not like it but you be the judge of it yourself but she still gets affected by that like she will see one everybody comment. gets affected i, I don't, don't. oh please <laughs> <laughs> oh please you Then do get me started it's it's only like when when you don't have it on you it is easier to say <laughs> it's just like you talk to me about that i i don't want to open it out over here <laughs> all right sometimes i do sometimes, sometimes i don't though <laughs> sometimes you just you... become that cool person like i'm cool and i'm cool i'm and cool deep down in your heart you're crying like why did <laughs> it happen to me <laughs> yeah i don't cry and i don't get um get sad because of haters i don't really? <laughs> you don't cry you don't sa- you don't get no, sad no 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 i don't you see i boost next time i'll be mentor. taking the picture <laughs> and i'll be keeping it over here all right coming back to point yeah. clubhouse is a wild place guys over here if you have to have a good time laughing be over there if you want to have a oh good God. time learning well i have sec- second opinions because i don't know very few chat rooms are actually good and informative but most of it is are filled with places filled with people who just want to talk and uh, that day i was in a club or in a house i still don't know how how to call that one particular place where people meet up i think room room yes so i was in that room and there was one lady i think she was in her late 50s and guiding people about how to improve spoken english and this is a field where i have some expertise in so i straight up pointed out that what she's trying to say does not really help anyone that was my clubhouse if you're All right. forgetting that no i recently had uh, sara jane on momentum podcast yeah and when she talks about how you improve your confidence your personality your speaking skills it will make sense like okay if i do this it will work out you try it it will help you it helped me as well but there are some people who are just repeating some words and sentences and you will feel that yeah that kind of makes sense but does not really when you actually try it out right yeah so there are just a lot of people just blabbing out over there 
yeah it's like it's it was supposed to be a very good platform mm. yeah, yeah. But, idea is good kind of but i don't yeah. like that there is no video it's okay like some people are not comfortable with video on talking to some random people off. especially girls i will not be talking to a random person with hmm. my video on but you talk speaking. with your audio on <laughs> what yeah i'll talk with my audio <laughs> you right. can see the difference okay but you're talking to a lot of random people over here <laughs> yeah i can do that but for common my, girls yeah but for hmm. my safety purpose for being a private person yeah that makes socially, sense that makes sense yeah i'll not you do that yeah i'll not yeah i'll not yeah i don't know what that person uh, how that person will hmm. react and how i don't hmm. know about that person right yeah, yeah. so uh, i'll not be risking that out plus i feel that audio is more comfortable like you are lying down in your bed you are just uh, just um, chilling up in bed and yeah. you, you can just start your clubhouse oh, moving and around start talking. traveling yeah, yeah. anywhere the idea is good the idea yeah. is something that will gain traction which brings me to the next point there are a lot of other apps are also bringing it for example spotify just brought it another thing con- called green room exactly the same i Love got hours. exactly the same it, the philosophy is exactly the same that there will be rooms where people will be talking and uh, others will also i'm pretty sure that facebook is going to walk in <laughs> that's what <laughs> facebook does whatever is popping right just there just purchases everything no just, just jump over there that's it that's mark zuckerberg in a nutshell but yeah facebook itself was kind of like very much similar to myspace or orkut very much similar actually it was not very original in the first place Oh, okay, I've never used Orkut. Yeah, because you are too young, Komal. You're too young. If you have lived as long as me, you would know about Orkut. <laughs> But I feel you live longer than me. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I was born in 1800s. Yeah. Okay, so we yeah. have we have some other okay, topics so over here as well. Okay, so let's let's discuss some pragmatic approaches All regarding right. it. You're going to get a lot of heavy words. <laughs> they have because Komal Thai. I'm playing the same game by the way. You can also mm. play it up. Mm, she's yeah. playing. Yeah. But you are also playing it. Then why are you not using it? Because I can see you <laughs> writing words here and there nowadays. Yeah. I just use it in my writing. That's it. You should use it verbally Speaking too. Speaking of writing, I'm okay. in my second last chapter. Let's keep mm. our this conversation mm. apart and let's discuss like w- w- like how do you see Clubhouse now and what can be the future? Yeah, that is a good question. Yeah. I think it will definitely be a big thing. There's absolutely no doubt because yeah. because there's nothing like that that was available before. It is the first time they have made a very stable platform. People are going it is addictive. There's no doubt in that. Yeah, it was addictive. It, addictive. it was addictive to me first time I went over there that the one thing that makes it addictive is that you are waiting for the turn to speak. especially in the big rooms like let us say 100 people are over there so you will be waiting and listening and you'll be raising your hands that i want to speak i want to speak right and since there is no recording you have to be over there cautious all the time that if someone drops a, some knowledge like someone is talking about how to gain more followers on instagram you want to gain a lot of followers on instagram then you'll be listening to every word there is no recording of that so you have to have more amount of uh, what do you call more and more amount of uh, what? concentration there is a better word for that but anyways patience also yeah maybe but you have to listen carefully that's it also i feel um uh, one more thing that uh, are you not seeing that positive aspect of it that people are getting more used to it like some people who are very much addicted to clubhouse that mm. may be taking a toll on the other professions of them mm. but if they are uh, considering the communication skills and personality this that is getting not personality See, i can say uh, the communication ch- skills the chat rooms are be becoming enhanced. the chat rooms are becoming bigger and bigger now what if you go in the smaller one that that can also the serve the same purpose that is what i'm saying over yeah. time it gets more hits it becomes more popular yeah. those smaller rooms will not be visible to you only the big ones will be the ones promoted by it because they want bigger audience yeah but the kind of thing like the same thing if you go to youtube and if you'll search something suppose if you are searching about a mobile phone mm. you'll get many option but you will keep if you'll keep going down if we you never do that rolling down when was but the last time you did that person who wants it can do that yeah right? but we don't want it that's the thing what i'm talking about is majority and what works for the majority yeah. for a platform to become better yeah. you have to target the majority and then ultimately what they want to do is run ads and from that yeah. they want to show retention of the number of people that's it that's a simple motto that instagram also used 
the thing where it will shine the most is that you have the maximum amount of retention because in instagram you have to hold your phone stop your work and over here you can actually kind of continue doing a lot of your work right mm-hmm. for example the best would be those boring jobs like banking jobs or stuff like that right and say that i can't say that banking people would be agreeing with me what's the fun in that i don't know <laughs> that cannot be fun according to you but people can get offended Who don't get offended guys interesting <laughs> i was just having fun i'm sitting over here in a sleeveless you can't like take I'm me seriously those <laughs> clutches yes it's comal thank you that's why i keep comal beside me now coming back to the point let us yeah. say you have a boring job like making rockets for a living now you might have earphones like let us say you are a boring <laughs> boring person who makes rocket at nasa can i say that <laughs> all right so you will be having earphones and maybe you will be pretending that you're just listening to music meanwhile you're just listening to clubhouse and clubhouse is having your attention and then people will be running rooms and there will be get sponsors over there as well maybe clubhouse will be taking a cut like anchor does right that's how they will be making money hmm clubhouse can also sponsor podcast too because it is basically Mm. the same way the way we release yeah. it in audio platforms you can do it in there also yeah it just in more advanced version mm-hmm. they can also think that because podcast is a big thing mm. in other con- in most yeah. of the countries yeah. not in india but in other countries is a big thing yeah. maybe they can put their hand over in that's, that field too that's what clubhouse basically is it is a podcast only so yeah. when when the rooms are bigger and bigger they are basically three to four hosts and they are keep going to keep on talking and every now and then they might invite some of the people who are listening but what i think is that it is basically a podcast when you listen to it and if the But people are they'll keep it more like uh, more with the timetable like that suppose jorgen sub, uh, he thinks to come over the uh, this platform mm. clubhouse <laughs> so obviously there will be certain time and like that mm. like a tv channel program yeah, kind yeah, of that yeah yeah so it But has potential yeah, the only yeah. thing that brings potential to it is that it is great to have attention of the audience it is cheap to maintain actually compared to the video platforms because you will need terabytes and terabytes of storage to save the videos when it comes to audios they are yeah. easy to handle yeah. and it will not shut down it will not hang it is easier to maintain and it is massively addictive like youtube brought its audio thing only for the premium users right because a lot of people actually just listen to videos and that's what netflix did as well Me. never watch it <laughs> yeah yeah so we we'll listen yes. to a lot of videos to save time and uh, that is the place where it's going to shine that is probably the reason why other platforms are going to jump in very soon as well yes that is the thing about these ideas that you you cannot have copyright over the idea of selling product online or you can't have copyright over building a website that shows pictures and this is just an idea so anyone can start that and uh, that's when the rich companies comes into the picture they are going to dive in very fast yes hmm. ashish along with that what i think that gar- garbage on any platform it spreads very rapidly like yeah. the way reels was a very good platform and now i see it's all crap right hmm. and the same with clubhouse yeah the garbage the way garbage is spreading over here hmm. like the way i mentioned in the very start of this platform in hmm. the podcast yeah so what i believe that again it will be more of shitty things that is more the of, problem that is something yeah. that gives me headache that every platform is going in the same direction instagram today is going in the same direction why aren't you not promoting content that is actually going to add value to people you're promoting heavily people who are just lip syncing we see that all the time because more people watch it that means that because more people watch it you're going to show it to more people and that means that you are actually spreading it out to even people who might not have watched it yeah. right so they are promoting that kind of content facebook will do the same youtube that that's what you were saying that right now youtube would be the most decent place because if it will yeah. only show you the content that you are watching mostly yeah. plus h- how is uh, how these social media apps they are affecting our two young generation yeah uh, you remember that girl i showed you yeah. she was only 2 to 3 years old and she has a studio now because oh, her oh, videos are yeah. going viral yeah, yeah what does she do i think uh, just whatever her mother tells her to yeah yeah right? yeah yeah, yeah. So can example. you can you imagine the psychological effect she will be having maybe after mm-hmm. 10 years mm-hmm. yeah for example see 
I follow a lot of martial arts. So yeah. my Instagram, I never go through search. So the first thing that I see over here is martial art, a girl kicking a guy. All right. Stupendous taekwondo over here, by the way. Yes. Now, coming next. I don't know why I see a guy kissing a girl. All right. <laughs> I never follow couple pages. You just see reels. Wait, what one second, one second. I don't know why I'm seeing this girl. I've never seen this, seen her before. She probably is a, and this is a paid pr- partnership. Sure. Don't take the name, by the way. <laughs> Yeah, don't take the name. But I don't know why I'm seeing that. And then again, going to the search feed further, you can see a lot more martial arts. But other than that, other than that, I don't know why I'm seeing this. I don't know why Ashish uh, feed was popping up. I don't Rashmika know. Rashmika Mandana. Rashmika Mandana. Look at, look at her. For some time, you remember? Yeah. One time, yeah, your, yeah, yeah. Uh, your feed every now and then, it was popping up with Rashmika Mandana. He was like, who is she? Who is she? I was telling him she's Rashmika. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And for example, look at this one. Yeah. Just a funny gym kind of workout, fail kind of thing. Kind of real to make you yes. laugh. So you see a lot of things that are promoted to you even though you don't watch that. That is the thing. But that will never happen on YouTube. So that way we can say that it is still a better platform. But all the platforms are going in the same direction thumbnails and all clickbaits are promoted heavily over there because the people who are creating these platforms are not the consumers <laughs> they <laughs> they are making it to make a lot of money they have so much money that they will be chilling on on their yacht they don't care about what common people are watching but they care about the numbers yes so that is what they are going to do internet was a beautiful thing Komal, but i think that it is going to die out pretty soon with the beauty yeah saturation <laughs> will come same yeah. on reels right people will mm-hmm. be having almost same amount of followers so mm-hmm. called influencers and all so anyways Komal, shall we shall we get to some real topic like like uh, like real topic like you have been dropping a lot of heavy words Komal. let me bring a heavy topic for you what is the meaning of life oh my <laughs> goodness <laughs> i got this question in my story as a question. So I thought that I'm just going to throw it at you. It, it has <laughs> it, it, it has several branches. Mm. And out of that, there are million mm. branches. No, and I, out of that, there are trillion branches. It's yeah. never ending. It's never ending. It's but different I, for different per- per- persons. Yeah, but it has a start. I want to see where you start. So, so I, yeah, see, first you're asking me. Yeah. Okay. What do you I think? thought you'll be discussing that first. No, hell no. I don't get into shady topics like this. I'll I'll okay. see. It is not sh- shady. It is vague. It is very vague because no, it is different for different people. To realize. Mm. It's very important to realize. Mm. Is it? People have come, people have gone and nobody has <laughs> given the exact definition. Maybe if you are thinking about it, you can be the one who can give the exact definition mm. of what is the purpose mm. of life. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What do you think, Komal? For me, I was also thinking one day and Mm. I just thought that uh, you feel meaningless when you don't have a purpose of life. You like you you don't have a destination. Mm. Suppose if I'm aiming for suppose if I'm aiming for international modeling, Mm. if there is no such agenda in my life, there is no motto in my life. uh, Did I pronounce it correctly? Because I have a. Oh, an all sound problem. Yeah, you per- did it perfectly. Don't worry okay. about it. Fine. Yeah. <laughs> I-, I wanted you to interrupt me over there only. Yeah. Okay. So basically, um, agenda, if you don't have that, if you don't have that destination, mm-hmm. you feel lost. Mm. So along with that also, there is there should be one motto of your life. There should be one agenda in your life. But I think this is some superficial thing. But mm. if I see deep down mm. the purpose of life, it's about going as near to the perfect thing. Suppose if mm. I say, when I say like, this sounds complicated, this is con and drum. Mm. <laughs> all right. But if you like, what I mean to say is that uh, the anger, mm. these all greed, mm. lust, these weaknesses, whatever you think, uh, there are setbacks and drawbacks in you. If you are conquering, if you are just, uh, uh, if you are just, um, putting everything good and you're just going on the right track by just you know by conquering everything like you had greed and now you have conquered it now you're a greedless person lust you have conquered it anger you have just drank it whole up right Mm. so if you have just conquered all these 
things and if you are i think this is something perfect you can never be perfect mm. no one can be perfect it is called that only god can be perfect mm. right it is called basically mm. so we humans can are imperfect we are called but we can be near to it mm. and i think that is the purpose of only life whatever setbacks and limitation you see in yourself mm. just conquering it and seeing that uh, mirror beyond it i feel that is purpose of life yeah i hope you got it what i mean yeah say. that was great i think that a lot of people listening would have also got in that was way better than i would have answered it <laughs> that i know <laughs> you like it <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> certainly i was also thinking it one day like what is the purpose of li- purpose of life i said yes it um, makes us feel existent mm. the agenda and destination but the ultimate purpose of life is the des- the uh, setbacks and limitations we always try to do this no like mere andar ye kami hai main ise conquer kar leta hu hmm aisa hota hai like yeah. it happens so the way we do it that we always try to conquer those things and like we always tend to because i think that is the only agenda that if we want to just be near that perfect shape perfect shape of maybe humans yeah where all emotions are balanced so getting better individually yes. over time right yeah. that would be the purpose of yeah. life yeah you recapitulate makes sense uh, yeah next thing you know thousands years later comus co- words have been written on some script or something <laughs> maybe i should just take one sanyas mm. purpose of life is getting better individually komal <laughs> taya <laughs> i don't know 19, 1995 to i don't know the, it is I increasing just, it, this thing to you one day also hmm. and you were kind of disagreeing with me yeah, a little bit i do that every now and then but it but makes a lot of sense so everybody everyone in this world hmm. wants to conquer the uh, limitations hmm. whatever it is yeah. if they are not good in it they want to be good in it hmm. yeah not everyone though no it's it's like that yeah everyone wants to everyone cannot do it on a daily basis yeah, Say, ev- they feel yeah, like they cannot be, but they want yeah. to yeah 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 right yeah certainly everyone wants yeah. to be better yeah that makes sense yeah so that's my definition <laughs> yeah and uh, in a very simple sense like a lot of people think that if i achieve that trophy that would make me happy if i get that much amount of money that would make me happy but what really makes you happy is just getting better so if you find yourself to be better than what you were yeah that will make you happy and that's what we all want like being happy yeah yes There's a bunch of 20 year old kids maybe he just found the meaning of life or maybe yeah. not maybe not so i watched this one particular video mark mason the one who wrote uh, the subtle art of not giving a fuck yeah that one and uh, <laughs> he also has a youtube channel he also has a massive website on which there might be paid membership and all that but on his youtube channel he made a video i think he explained kind of similar topic in five different levels purpose of life kind of like that okay and what it is to a kid then what it is to a teenager what it is to a graduate what it is to someone who is a working professional and what it is to someone who is uh, somewhere on like in 60s or something or master level he explained in kind of a good way but then again like i said it is kind of vague it is different for different people and for some it might be very true that yeah purpose of life is getting rich maybe who are we to judge it might be so that is hmm. also like people want to be rich they also want to be better in terms of financial hmm. financial uh, aspects yeah right yeah so what do you think yeah but <laughs> if you are getting better in financial aspect and getting worse in your personal life and everything else yeah so then that person maybe will eventually reali- realize will think that i should work on that yeah and maybe he won't <laughs> that's the yeah, thing that is the another thing uh, for example i was we should also we should be like this we should be simplistic we should not do we should not harm our nature we should not mm. but we do that for our comfort we so do. we do a lot of things some that is not. not supposed to be done some might not someone just might be making a factory and just throwing all the chemical waste down the river so how are you writing on paper what everybody writes on paper right yeah but so everyone is using that paper so that paper is coming from forest yeah so where are you getting no i'm saying that okay. there are people who are making a lot of money and at the same time polluting the environment yes maybe not taking care of their family as well maybe something like that might not be super happy so let me give a very simple example that i was going through this netflix uh, five episode series it's called how to be a tyrant and what i really admired about that series 
is the voice of the narrator <laughs> because he really talks in a way that he's teaching you to become a tyrant to become a dictator and he's going to say step 1 do this step 2 do this okay you'll be having this problem but you can solve it like this this is how you control media and all that so he takes the example of all the tyrants that has been over there Saddam Hussein Stalin and Hitler and all that okay he brings the examples of Uganda every place all right so over there you can see that there were cert- certain people who till the moment they died tried to control everyone cause a lot of bad things so what will you say over there like what are they getting better at maybe in other aspects <laughs> what aspect anything <laughs> maybe they are whatever it is it it can be you know uh, suppose if they are bad at something so they want to good at it suppose uh, the thing the suppose which i call bad may be good for others mm, yeah right so definition is different yeah so whatever it is they want to achieve something they want to be better at it mm, yeah yeah makes sense yeah yeah, yeah so yeah. the better <laughs> they want to getting be better. better in better things according to me mm. so that can be aligning with the society yeah. but getting better in those thing which is bad according to the society which yeah. may not be al- aligning with me yeah. but they are getting be- better in their own aspects are you yeah. getting it yeah i'm getting it perfectly <laughs> komal ta it fits me again all right makes a lot of sense komal i'm not even going to try to explain this from my side because i know that it is going to be a subset of what you explain because you did really did hit the nail at the right spot anything else you want to say something yeah. else you want to contribute no just be happy i also i feel mm. that being happy is also one of the purpose yeah how If long have we been talking <laughs> i kind of have a feeling that we are very close to the one hour mark okay <laughs> oh god we just thought it to make it 40 minutes one Remember? yeah i'm pretty sure that we are very close to that mark but uh, shall we go a little bit further or shall we end it Fresh. I'm all yeah. fresh. Yeah, we're all fresh. So let us get to the lessons that Naruto has taught us. Okay, Komal I think time. we've discussed it earlier too, but yeah. that is way too old. Let's yeah. discuss it again yeah. because we are watching it again. And I know a lot of people will be asking me that where I got this. It is actually very cheap, guys, and it is not like I did not get it from Versace. I got it from Amazon. <laughs> Just go to the description box. I'll put a link over there because I recently posted a pic on. Instagram and they were asking a lot Instagram is shitty when it comes to links it will give you just one option to give link <laughs> in a swipe up that or something that bio. too after <laughs> after and then, yeah bio and if you have like more than 10000 followers yeah, I, you'll have a swipe up a lot of people so tough for me that is why come yeah. you should be buying a lot of followers no <laughs> i only believe in organic things and i won't be follow i won't be buying those stuff a lot of people buy followers just for that yeah but mm. i don't want it i want everything organic this do- does not feel authentic yeah coming back to the point a lot of people were asking in the comment section so i'm going to be putting the link over there but yeah let us not get deviated again yes. lessons from naruto what yeah. do you think what is the first thing that you learned out of it that naruto's purpose of life <laughs> was to become hokage <laughs> and he did not become hokage and everyone will be respect- respecting <laughs> me like the way he just mm. fixes his that um, what do you call patch i think bandana or something yeah headband the right headband, the way yeah. he fixes it and i say mm. one day i'll be the i'll be fifth okay. hokage which one okay. he he just said hokage he hokage. did not care about <laughs> okay. numbers because if if it was up to him he would have become the fifth one but yeah. then sunade so sunade we came fifth no yeah, yeah. then kakashi i don't know why but kakashi became the sixth one <laughs> i have no idea <laughs> where, where did it come from like, you would have been better of making shikamaru the hokage yeah yamato yeah, was much stronger than kakashi yeah. i felt that <laughs> i do not know about the hype of kakashi literally everyone is stronger than kakashi after every battle kakashi is in the bed for 6 months that's they it. should have made itachi no <laughs> hey itachi <laughs> by calling him again because he was serving village only anyway itachi was dead no Sasuke killed it actually. Before that. Before that he was a When criminal. When Sarutobi was alive. Nobody kn- yeah, career. he actually knew about it, but Maybe you could have, you know, no, you can't really slaughter you can't really slaughter a whole community and become a hokage over there <laughs> that is not yes. possible. <laughs> that is not possible. Yeah. yeah, maybe maybe it would be possible in some Yeah. By the way, that is what a lot of dictators did, slaughter a whole community and <laughs> <laughs> yeah that is what hitler did so yeah it is not that impossible but yes. what i love about naruto is that they created a whole another world yes yeah a whole new world it is completely different countries and it took me some time to understand that no it is a new world it is not like on earth only it is different places it is a different, different world different 
everything mm. land is different techniques characters mm. and even their bodies are different and oh my god i was wondering how the writer made the ruchi maru character <laughs> like i get eeks whenever <laughs> i just see him like the way he just take out those swords and mm. those snakes out of his <laughs> neck and mouth i just I, i just like shut my eyes for the moment like how can he do that yeah yeah but <laughs> the thing which is fascinating is that that single man made so many characters man how can you think of so many different individual characteristics now, every person is different over there like let, let us take a small example neji's character is completely different yeah. and he's showing the changes in him then even the other small characters the size character there is a lee. personality lee. lee is a big character still lee yeah. is kind of the major character but still he has made so many characters let us say the character of madhuruji would be a contrast to the character of naruto but same person is writing two different characters completely different so you kind of would need to be kind of psychotic <laughs> i don't yeah. know you can't really say that because you are not at that level but plus it is interlinked yeah. you'll see the connection between the very first episode to the last one mm-hmm. yeah. right mm. remember kakashi was saying when he was just taking the exam of naruto's team mm. for the first time yeah. the same the same words Mm-hmm. was he just uh, took it out from obito, obito yeah, right yeah. and obito's entry came in just last mm. right yeah. and that that how they intermined those words mm. was in the very big in the very beginning episode yeah. and then they repeated Basically and the she's, same story she's talking about and people who are mind when sasuke yeah. and uh, naruto was fighting uh when uh, sasuke was leaving mm-hmm. from the village remember that place yeah, yeah. The, where that final yeah, valley where, where madra uchiha and this hashirama yeah. was standing the statue was stand, standing and nobody could have imagined that it was me madra and Ma- madra would be still alive yeah right yeah. yeah so that kind of shocking and how how imaginate imaginary he the person is who's who has written it yeah. so i just had hats off but he kind of messed it up in baruto i think <laughs> i don't know he's writing he's the same person yeah who's yeah yeah it. he's the person who's writing that correct me if i'm wrong but i'm definitely not because i searched it out i don't yeah. know yeah yeah but and also the lessons yeah. uh, the morals i'm getting it's uh, it's beyond every, like you cannot give up hmm, the yeah. biggest one that that all that is what naruto around, stands like, for you basically you cannot give up no. yeah right so i think jiraiya wrote a book and it was on nagato and what he wrote all about was a person a person does not give up no matter what and nagato was not able to follow it but naruto was the one who followed it yes. and that is what is signified throughout the and what i really liked about the shippuden part actually is where it ended i wanted it to end with naruto not becoming a hokage sasuke not going back and marrying sakura i wanted it to end like that like a normal real kind of thing that all you think might not be happening at the end but the journey is more important but you learn so much but then baruto came like i think it came just couple of weeks after naruto came very fast okay yeah let me tell you one fan, fun fact hmm. ashish really likes ruchimaru's face <laughs> every <don't>... time <laughs> on, in on the screen ruchimaru hmm. pops up he just tell me look at his cheek bones look at his jaw line it's, it's very so sharp. sharp it's very sharp <laughs> yeah he could have been a model <laughs> <laughs> yes we always talk about that an alternative career pros- prospect would have been modeling if he would not have been a mad scientist yeah yes <laughs> <laughs> yeah but then again it is just painting okay but he turned out to be good at the end yes that is yes. the thing about naruto everyone turns out to be good at yeah. the end yeah <laughs> and the- one of one more uh, mo- moral comes out from the naruto is that nobody is really bad if Nobody's you just born see bad. their situations if you just see their all the circumstances they have suffered they have survived you'll see that okay i'm bure nahi the hame halat mein bura kiya that, that is the <laughs> thing <laughs> yeah that is what we say in hindi hum bure nahi the hame halat mein that means for people who do not understand hindi that i'm not actually bad the circumstances have made me bad yes. so that is another thing that is shown over there like we are talking about lessons from naruto so let's talk about that that same thing happened with naruto same thing happened with gara but naruto turned out to be good and gara turned out to be not so good until that point till the chunin exams and that's what is shown over there that it is not what happens to you it is what you do with hap- what what 
I got confused over there. It is what we what you do with what happens to you. It sometimes okay. get becomes very very difficult to speak yes. that first. Yes. But point being the same. At the end, that is what is shown with Madhuravati that few bad things happened to him, and he turned out to be pretty bad. And kind of similar things happened to Sanju Ashirama as well. His brother also died. A lot of the loved ones of his side also died, but he turned out to be good. Um, Kakashi. through kakashi also they want to show the same thing that kakashi a lot of so sasuke tells kakashi that you would understand what is going through my head if all the close ones of yours were actually dead and then kakashi says before sasuke leaves the village that all the close ones that i had are actually dead so i actually do know what is going on in your head but it is what you choose over here so kakashi chose to be a good man also yeah. you're forgetting about naruto and gara Yeah, that is what I said. Naruto and Gara. Okay. Initially, okay. before the Chunin okay. exams, Gara turned out to be kind yes. of an asshole. But then <laughs> Naruto kicked his ass. That is what Naruto does, by the way. Yeah. He kicks the asses of the people who are kind of not that good, and now they become all cool. We always <laughs> call it that Naruto ne hride parivartan kar diya. Yeah, hride parivartan. Naruto is the hride parivartanist. <laughs> That's what he does. Okay, Ashish, I had one question. Hmm. Why is Sakura so much hated? Yeah. So there's there's <laughs> this one guy I think his name is Seish Kage by his new YouTube channel. But he made a good detailed video about why Sakura is so hated. Mm-hmm. And the main reason of, over there was that initially Sakura was kind of useless. At least um, up till the Shippuden started. She was kind of not doing anything, right? And she was always punching Naruto like anything. Yeah. Like. That I think That added fun element but yeah. she n- never you know that was sympathized with Naruto but you know maybe. what made her so hated the most was her hair color i think <laughs> that's what really bothers me if sakura was a blonde yeah people would be loving her i was suggesting you know yeah, this was komal's idea i steal a lot of komal's idea guys and then he tries <laughs> to portray it as if it is original i don't i don't I just forget to mention your name sometimes. <laughs> no, I then I just steal the credit. Like give it back to yeah. me. Come on, has to demand. Otherwise, people like me with more number of followers will always, always try to steal from people which are more creative than me. Right. So, for example, I'll give you a lot of examples. Once Komal gave me a title for my students to discuss it. What was that title? I don't know. Divya and Bhavya they watch yeah, yeah, the podcast yeah, yeah. a lot. It yeah. was yeah, and he was like, he didn't give me credit. I was like, you should please give me. It credit. was like topic of discussion was. Yeah, yeah, why? Like, is should it ethical? Be, yeah. Should people maybe be forced? Maybe we can to just st- uh, discuss it. No, hell no. Nationalist topics? Fuck no, man. Stay <laughs> away from me. Hell no. No politics over here. Okay, <laughs> okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, man, it will become nasty in the comment section. Yes, That's right. Yes, yes, I can also imagine yeah. like people will be literally unsubscribing us. No, hell no, no. Like, I don't. Because obviously, fifty percent people will be aligning with that. No, our... Komal. Here's what I'm saying. I don't care if you unsubscribe. <laughs> I know what you're going to do in the comment section, man. If you quietly unsubscribe, I have no problem. No yeah. problem at all. But people are going to get nasty in the comment section. Yeah, yeah, in that also, Ashish. Remember, we discussed that Hindu Succession Act, nineteen fifty-six. In that also. Yeah, in one person was like, "You are literally uh, provoking people, provoking girls to, uh, you know, uh, take their rights over the property." I'm not provoking. I'm just letting them know. Yeah, but <laughs> according to him, he was claiming that. Yeah. So yeah. you can see, like, probably a the, boy with five in sisters. In the legal <laughs> thing, you were saying you were supporting yeah. it, and people were literally about to bash you. Yeah. Anyways. And now we can imagine they yeah. were like, "Can we bloodshed in comment?" I can see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, no, no. I'm just not going to get into politics. I'm not going to get into religion. Doesn't matter how hard you try. Not gonna get in that. That's it. Now, other part that I was saying that I was just trying to give you credits. Other places that I've stole your credit is probably a lot of times you saved my ass when I made spelling mistakes in my stories and all. <laughs> But apart from that, I don't But really remember. But still, you always do the same mistake. I always tell him to just. Give me the give me your story before before uploading it anywhere. Just hmm. ask me once, no? 
Yeah. But still, you repeat the same because mistake. Because you're not always present, Komal. You all. can just... <laughs> there is WhatsApp. There is <laughs> so many... There is email. There is Instagram. Komal, itself. I'm the guy who's making spelling mistakes because I cannot check what I wrote. Do you think that I have time to but send you? But you should <laughs> do, do that because it's always good. <laughs> it's easier to, to apologize. To cross-check. It's easier to apologize. Sorry, guys. I just made a spelling mistake. That is much easier for me. <laughs> no, but that can take a toll maybe in your life when you are at serious moments. I never May- want to be that serious. No, maybe when you're maybe filling out form form for your passport, maybe for some ticket, last minute hurry, <laughs> last minute rush. Makes sense. Yes. At that time, I'll make sure to consult you, Komal. <laughs> but if I'm not there, then? <laughs> then I'll make sure to WhatsApp you. <laughs> if I'm not using my WhatsApp, then? Hmm. Then I'll double check it. That's it. That's my third ra- last resort. <laughs> All right. Okay, I guess we should end this podcast over yes. here, Komal. This, this was all fun. I don't know so what fun. we talked. <laughs> this was so fun. The more don't numbers kill us, we are, guys. Don't kill us. The hell, I bet you to try. Because this is online. The best part about online, you can't reach us. That's it. You can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> we all just recorded it. Hmm. And it always happens in one go. So we can't just put the cuts and all. We don't like it. We, we want don't. it like this only. <laughs> and we don't like the editing work. We don't like. So we want it to be easy. Okay, yes. great. So, guys, we are going to meet again very, very soon. Most likely. We don't know. But probably we are going to meet again next week. <laughs> yes, no, let's do it uh, maybe soon. Day after tomorrow. Or yeah, like that. that would be good. That would be, Because we are in flow now. Yeah, just, just not keep it for the last moment, right? Yeah. What happens when we are just losing the flow, then it will happen. Okay, chalo, let's yeah. postpone it tomorrow or day after tomorrow. True. But if it is flow, like now I'm enjoying it. Hmm. I, I'll still be in the enjoy, enjoying mode only after two days also. And then let's I'll be just like, do yes, it. we should do it. Let's just do it right after this. Guys, we are going to see you and then starting again. <laughs> Welcome back to Talking Fab Podcast, guys. <laughs> Stay, just change the dress, I guess. Otherwise, they'll find it out. <laughs> right? We don't have to pretend. Yeah. Anyways. <laughs> so, ending it back. Yes. Guys, we are going to meet again next week. I can assure you, 90%. <laughs> Other than that, Momentum Podcast is skyrocketing and it is not losing a beat. Every week there will be a podcast so you can check it out. A lot of new guests over there. We're thinking of bringing guests over here as well. Komal is having a lot of people lined up. We are just lazy. Komal, don't be lazy. Message those people. Drop DMs. Bring them over here. A lot of work hmm. to do nowadays, Ashish. Yeah, Komal is getting a lot of work. Shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Komal had a recent shoot where we met that TikToker. I wish I could have talked okay, more about it. Okay, not tell them everything. <laughs> that shoot does not signify exactly which shoot. They know the latest one. I keep putting my stories and, and maybe you everyone can pre- is tagged over there. You can just pretend that. Let's cut this part now. <laughs> Alright, anyways guys, before I say something that may cause Pro- Komal a little bit more trouble, we are going to end this podcast. See you next time. Till then, bye. Keep smiling. And uh, what was the line actually? Bye-bye, take care. And keep smiling. Yes. Yeah. See you next time, guys. Bye. Bye, take care, keep smiling. Bye-bye. People must be thinking I'm drunk today. I'm not. (laughs) Bye. (laughs)